Today, I'm joined by the one and only Apocalypse Gaming for another episode of our Rise of Kingdoms interview with a content creator series. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms interview with a content creator with the one and only Apocalypse Gaming. Boom, boom, what's up? Boom, boom, baby, what's up? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, boom, boom, I'm excited. So I'm gonna start by asking a question that I've always had. I don't know if anyone else has had this, but what's the background on boom, boom? I knew that was going to come. <laughs> Before I even start streaming or do anything, I always had that say when I watch football or when I'm doing anything, when something good happened, I'm always like, boom, boom, let's go. You know, it's just a common thing. And then when I start streaming, it just, again, the, the natural part just kicked in and I was on the stream one day and something happened. It was very, very early stream. <laughs> And I dropped the first boom, boom. And I was like, boom, boom, baby, let's go. And man, let me tell you, the rest is history. I haven't stopped saying boom, boom <laughs> for four and a half years. But you know, I think it's uh, never was never intentional, but it's like a tangible thing. You know, everybody knows now, you know, <laughs> I'm always the boom, boom guy. You know, it's really, really nice. It's very nice. I love it. It's been huge yeah. for your it's brand. It's a positive thing. Yeah. No, yeah, it is. It is. It is. It's awesome. Like it I, is. I've been yeah. trying to find like, you know, what things I would make into emojis or things like that. And it's yeah. really hard, but when you find something Very. and you get it, like it works for you. Exactly. 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 Well said. Yeah. And this is exactly how I see it as well. Uh, it's a big part of what I do and I love it as well. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like I love the, I love the boom boom. It's like a slogan for me. You know, it's a, it's a big part of where I am today. Crazy to say that, but yeah. So yeah. so walk us through that. I mean, who are you? For anyone who's unfamiliar with Apocalypse Gaming, what's mm -hmm. your deal? What's your background? How, why are you on YouTube? Like, give give us the tea. Absolutely. Well, man, I'm, I'm just a normal guy. I'm a very humble, kind person in real life. I believe I am. Uh, YouTube, what drew me to YouTube, it's crazy. Uh, I just love social time. Socializing is a huge part of what I do. Uh, helps me in my mental health, uh, really just on my day-to-day -day things, you know what I mean? And during COVID was a big thing. Like when we were locked up and we couldn't do anything, we couldn't talk. I mean, I was losing my mind from being super social person, super energetic, which you see on my streams. <laughs> I don't need to tell you, uh, it's real life, you know, in real life I'm the same. So I need energy, I need to do stuff. So yeah, this when yeah, I, uh, I was playing Rise of Kingdom early time and I got told by one of my, I remember very well, they were like, you know, man, just start recording your, your our kingdom. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm not really, don't know if I can do that. And then, yeah, <laughs> give it a go. It was crazy at the start. I give it a go. I remember very well, never going to forget it. I had a very old iPhone and I had a very old iPad and I used to use my phone. I'm never going to forget in front of me. And recording myself while I'm playing on the iPad. You can no go see way. my footage from my old yeah. Yeah, man. I did this for more than a year. And it was so hard. Great. It was beyond normal to edit on an iPad and try it was so hard. Especially to get the footage line up with your talking. Oh my god. So it was very challenging, but I always believe in myself. I you know, I and throughout my life, you know, when I put a goal, I always achieve the goal and I always like to do a little bit go over the top even, not achieve the goal. So yeah, I, yeah, it's been a great journey. Four and a half years, I think. Yeah. And I can't believe I'm here today. I got one of your old yeah, videos we, playing right next to my face where you do have the iPhone set. That is crazy. Yes. Yeah, man. yeah, that's how I started. For anybody watching this, just to be, um, I mean this, and maybe you're gonna say because this is YouTube and stuff, but this is real, guys. Regardless of what so many people told me, what the heck are you doing? This is never going to work. What a waste of time. Well, you can't even speak English. Trust me, I hear it all. Yeah. And I have never paid attention to any of this. Just to believe, guys, even when you start from nothing, you actually could do it. If you really believe in what you do and you have the passion that can push you every day to get up in the morning and do it, nobody can stop you. Trust me. 
And you had that consistency too. Like I'm looking through, Mm -hmm. I know when I first started, I probably started, I don't know, maybe two or three years ago now, but like Mm -hmm. none of my videos had views and it was the most demoralizing thing ever. And I'm looking Mm -hmm. through yours and even now, like you have some that had like 400 views or 379, but you just kept Mm -hmm. going. And now look at Mm -hmm. you, you're, you know, a big Mm -hmm. whale over here at nine point one two thousand subscribers. You know, you did did pretty good, Oppo. Yeah, man, I'm super proud. I can't believe it. I'm getting goosebumps when you see that, man. I'm really, I really mean it. Man, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. I know. I remember these days. I remember uploading the videos and getting 50, 100. But there is always these awesome ones that make your journey worth so much. Oh, totally. They take time out of their day. You know, these ones, man, they are very special. They take time out of their day to send you a simple message to say, man, love your content. Please keep going. You know, I always, even if it's one person, and I really mean this, I can, man, I'm not even lying. I can name them one by one throughout my journey. I remember these guys. They always made me keep going. And believe in myself. I have to also mention that. I believe in myself. I know that was, was not my time. I always say that on the stream. And I always try to say that to the young people also that watch me. There is nobody takes anybody's shares. If there is a piece of cake, everybody going to take the share of this piece of cake. Whatever you do to try to take more than you share, it will not happen. So when things don't go your way and you don't believe that you're taking your share, just be patient because it's coming. That's what I believed. And I keep grinding and grinding and grinding. Yeah, Today, yeah, no long ago, we just celebrated 9,000 subscribers. And finger crossed, we're going to, next goal is 10,000 subscribers. Oh, you'll hit it in no time. Yeah. And, and what's... Yeah, I mean, God willing. <laughs> what's crazy is like, with you specifically, I've talked to a number of people that I've played with just historically, and you just keep mm. coming up. Like I, I was in KVK against uh, TL68, I think it was. 15, 1568, yes. OmniArch's Kingdom. And Miss May was like, hey, you should reach out to Oppo. And then like... I went. I was looking at Kingdoms of Migrate 2 and I was looking at 3265. What did they do? They sent me your video. I'm like, this guy's everywhere. <laughs> you know, that, I'm really happy you brought it up. Look, man, I really believe we as content creator for, for a game, regardless of what we play, like I love Rise of Kingdom, but I believe we have like a big role more than what we think because... If you have people, the YouTube community that like to watch the Twitch, the Twitch community, these people like to watch contents and hang out with people, but they don't have time to go through kingdoms and find good, non-toxic, blah, blah, blah. No, no, they just watch you. So I have a, a feeling that we have a responsibility as much as we need to pump contents and have fun and become what we achieve, what we want to do. We also have a responsibility to sp- make spotlights on kingdoms that nobody will ever think they are good. And I found this very awesome because the feedback was amazing. And I remember 2359 and 2973, 3265. These three kingdoms. Why I call them? Because these three kingdoms were not really good. Like, sorry, not, not good, but they were not known. They were not famous. Right. No, it happened no. that 3265 happened to have a KVK with Baba kingdom 3281 mm-hmm. at the time and ikram abby it was crazy and the one person reached out vortrix boom boom to you man i'm not gonna forget <laughs> your name because i told you <laughs> you get the credit for that <laughs> he's gonna be in the he comments like i knew it <laughs> hey bro he is amazing he never let go and that's what i appreciate him there's some people that send me a message and they forget about it that guy kept up with ultra fights past opening he kept telling me until he came to king's land and told me up to today's king's land you gotta come and i remember it was the random time ever it started at 10 30 at night for me <laughs> and i made it and i remember we stayed streaming until three like two o'clock in the morning or something and it was worth it because i shared the spotlight on a kingdom that i really believed they showed great strategy they worked together as a team the murder ball man was unbreakable i'm talking about kvk Three kingdom guys. It's too early for them to to know these things. And this is what happened. You know, thanks to that, I was able to get some footage of them fighting, evidence of how good they are, that they can promote their kingdom with it. And this has happened 
in 2973 as well, you know, the feedback from 2973 was lots of love because also I shared a lot on them, 2359. And then I found that, that this is something I could regularly do. I share a, spot, like I share a spotlight on a, on, a king, on a small kingdom or a new kingdom that not many people know, and we start slowly promoting them. And the people that watch or the community at the end of the day, they can make their own judgment on what they see on the screen. So totally. yeah, I think it really was very positive, not only for me, but for the community. So when did you pivot from like video creation to lives all the time? Because you are live yeah. more than anyone I know. And I mean, it's awesome because I always know like 5 p.m. Who's what am I doing? Oh, I'll tune in to Oppo stream. Why not? So so when did that well, happen? Well, that was, uh, yeah. Okay. I was making a lot of content. Man, I'm not a good editor. It's the truth. I, <laughs> I'm learning now. I'm not going to lie because this is a little bit more, I'm a little bit more involved. So I'm learning a lot now. I watch hours of editing to try to learn how to produce and stuff, but I'm still learning. But in the live streams, bro, I get so much out of it. I just love the interaction. I just love it. It fills my day with so much happiness. I don't ask me how, but this is something I wake up in the morning. It's always what I'm looking forward to do. It's like my thing. I'm looking forward to go hang out with the community. It's just what I do. And I was doing it, you know, live every now and then until one day I remember on the stream. Someone, I remember, man, I remember this moment. Someone <laughs> told me. You know, Apple, you deserve more, but the problem is you're not constant. And I was like, I'm not constant? He said, yeah. He said, you need to be live every day. You need to connect with the community. We need to be looking forward to see Apple. And man, I'm the kind of person that takes these kind of things and go away and think about it. And when I read it and I, I understood, I was like, he's so right. If I want to like to build something amazing, I have to be there every day. I have to commit. And it's not easy, trust me, because as you know, you know, life takes over and you have life, your personal life in the background. Mm -hmm. But when you come and click that live button switch, you can't be sitting there sad and talking about sad stuff because <laughs> it's important because, you know, these people know this is boom, boom time. This is happy time. This is where I'm going to get some happy time out of my day. And, you know, this is the feedback I get. So the last thing you want to do is sit down there and be like, mm, I'm pretty sad today. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I'm pretty good at, uh, at doing that, splitting or oh, separating pretty much my real life and my boom, boom time. <laughs> Are you full time YouTube now? Yeah, I would say yes, I am. Uh, wow. Man, for me, it's more than more. It's, it's a hobby for me more than anything. It's I love doing it. At the moment, it was my back. I have problems with my back, so I don't really do much. So sitting or not walking much. But yeah, I am mostly... Uh, all all the time uh, on YouTube, yeah, full time, pretty much, yeah. This is That's and this awesome. is a goal for years to come. I'm yeah. not lying to you, man. Like, I want this to be a positive thing for my family. This is really why I really want to do it. When I've been doing it for a long time, I want this to be a positive thing for my family. I want my wife not to work. You know, everybody's dream. I want my kids to go to beautiful college and have great things and be able to afford a house for them and all of these things. You know, I've worked hard all my life. You know, and unfortunately, there's some hiccups that happen that. You know, makes you rethink about what you need to do. So, I so yeah, it. you know, sometimes, like I was saying, life, yeah, makes you restart to rethink about your choices and what you need to do. But, you mean, when I was young, I got told, you got to keep trying jobs until you find something that makes you happy doing. Wakes up in the morning happy to do it. I've done everything I could. Man, I'm going to tell you this <laughs> first. There is nothing makes me more happier than clicking on go live. It's so much happy. I'm so happy. I'm so chilled. I'm having a great time. It's, it's, it's amazing. That's awesome, Oppo. That's really, yeah, really man. cool. Yeah. I do have a follow-up question though, right? Because you, you play mm -hmm. ROK. I play ROK. Most of our viewers watch mm -hmm. for ROK. You've tried a exactly. couple different other games on the channel. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Are, do, you, do you enjoy playing other games? Do you think you're going to keep those games on your channel or, or what's what's your plan are you an rok youtuber or a, or a gaming youtuber good question i would like to see myself as a rise of kingdom content creator because it's majority of my channel but in the last year as you also will understand after doing this for a while you get a lot of sponsor deals and you have to make a decision when it comes to this mm -hmm. because you're either going to swarm your community 
was advertisement on games that you don't really play to make money, or you're going to be very selective with the games you bring to your community, because uh, pretty much they have the same kind of mindset as you. They like Rise of Kingdom for the similar reasons that you do, so they could find other games more entertaining. So on that note, I like to see myself that I can play any game. But like you would also experience, when you bring new games to a very strong community that playing another game for a long time, it's not always welcomed. But yeah. in my experience, I actually had a lot of fun with it. Like I play Rise of Kingdom full time for sure, and I play Raid Shadow Legion full time as well. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do. So I play ROK and Raid Shadow Legion full time. And I have my own alliance as well. And I have some of my Rise of Kingdom community as well play with me. But yeah, I do play these two games full time for real. I grind on both. I am going hard. <clears throat> no way. That's awesome. Mm. Mm. Very mm. cool. So yeah, man. Let's dive in game and and let's take let's take a look at uh, you know what you're working with in terms of your account and all mm -hmm. of that and uh, and give me some mm -hmm. insight into your ROK journey. How old's your account? When did you start? You know what 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 Absolutely. are we looking at here? So uh, maybe I could share with you. Well, well, well. <laughs> Here it is. This is uh, my account. I am Apocalypse. My name in the game is Mr. Boom Boom. <laughs> it just works so well. <laughs> and I've been playing Rise of Kingdom for 1,650 days. Oh, man. Crazy. Is that, is and that let me more? tell you, I didn't miss a day. Is that more or less than me? What am I at? Now you what are you at? Oh, my God. Now you got me wondering. You're... Okay, let's double check real quick. I'm gonna pull mine up. I am at... I think you might be older. I might be. Oh yeah, I'm 1979. Oh my God, 1979? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you're so close from 2000. I know. Damn. Don't look at my kill points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is different. You know, man, I'm a... I don't know, man. I'm a little bit different person. You know, this was... I think I got to talk about this and maybe later or we'll just go on that cam, but I'm going to have to talk about this because <clears throat> you brought, you remind me of something I want to talk to the community about and totally uh, we'll continue this. Yeah. So I have 1,650 days of rise of kingdom. I did not miss one day. Wow. I'm very reliable <clears throat> in real life and in game life. <laughs> <laughs> and you all know for sure I play in 24, 29, uh, I love my kingdom, I love my people, and we have great fun. So I don't see any reason for going anywhere else. And did you start at the in 2429, or, or, or how did no. you end up there? So my journey started in 1820. That's when I downloaded Rise of Kingdom. Mm -hmm. 1820. And from 1820, we had a problem <laughs> early in the game. So we had to migrate to Kingdom 1803 to do KVK 1 and 2. And then we had a bit of a problem in 1803. It wasn't really me. It was more of the leaders, you know, the high spenders. Mm -hmm. And we ended up migrating to Kingdom 1804 for KVK4. We played KVK4, the first one. And then we played KVK4, the official one. We lost. Kingdom broke down. I migrated to Kingdom 1860. I played in 1860 for two KVKs. It was a great time. It was the prime time of the Dark Nation. I don't know if you remember the Dark Nation. Yeah, I fought uh, against 1860. I yeah, remember. man. Dark Hassan, the mm -hmm. king, it was great. But unfortunately, some things happened and Kingdom didn't last. And then I've decided after that to go and start my own project. I went ahead and migrated to Kingdom 2009. Started my own project. And then unfortunately, I decided to allow a second alliance in. We didn't accept the things that they were doing. We didn't see eye to eye. I ended up just losing my mind. After I invested all that time to start my own project, everything went to sour. So I left to Kingdom 2489. Uh, I stayed in 2489 for three KBKs. Had a great time. Huge respect to this kingdom. And man, this kingdom is super strong for a reason. The, their leadership is very strong. Mentality oh, is super wow. strong. I didn't realize I that played you were there for three KBKs. Yeah, man. I was uh, I went there at the starting of the project. I played with them all 
the three KVKs at the beginning of the project. Yeah, it was a great time. And then I decided to take a break to go and go play just in a tier A in 1979. <clears throat> uh, they helped me. I was looking for a kingdom at the time. And unfortunately, it was the first kingdom I leave before past four fight. Never had planned it. But 2429 wow. project came on board. Yeah. And they rung me. And they told me, simple as, we want you tomorrow in the kingdom. I said, guys, this is impossible. You know, <laughs> and this is not how it works. And they said, we're going to do anything for you to come to 2429. They were pretty amazing. They helped me a lot. Yeah, so I had to apologize. So 1797 was pretty sad because I normally don't do these things, but I felt like I'm not going to lie to you. This day, I remember I told myself, these opportunities don't come too many times in life. You either take it and go ahead and try it or think with your heart and be emotional about it and don't do it. And when I spoke to other people, they agreed with me. Spoke to the king. I cleared that up. Anyway, I went to 2429 and I am here. Wow. How long have you been yeah, in 2429? That's going to be my fourth KVK here. So you're, you're sticking around, but you do have a jumper project coming up, don't you? Yes, yes. So look, man, it comes a lot on the stream. Lots of people join the stream and they say one common thing. <laughs> Apple, I love you so much. I love your energy. Would love to play with you. But unfortunately, we never can play in the same kingdom. Either mm -hmm. because my spending requirement does not suit them because I'm not as high spender or it's the other way around. They don't have as many stats high kill points did so they're not allowed to come into my kingdom <clears throat> and it's been on my mind for quite a long time so someone told me apple what do you think about just creating your own kingdom and i said man it's too much effort and i thought that's going to be hard but then the community came around and told me that they are really keen to start a new project get involved with me and, you know, we'll try one more time. And, man, let me tell you, the, the feedback from the community is crazy. Like, I, I didn't really think that many people would be keen to do it. I have so many <clears throat> messages from some awesome, awesome players, like OG players as well, that are keen to, to be part of the project. They think it's going to be super positive. It's going to be a new year. And the reason I really want to do it is I want to give the opportunity to newcomers to the game to get a fair start. Lots of people love Rise of Kingdom and they walk away because of bad experience with starting Kingdom, leadership, civil war. I'm not telling them that this is not going to happen in 3777, but I can promise them that I'm going to do everything in my power to make it one of the greatest, greatest start project ever anybody did in Rise of Kingdom. Okay. You know, I'm, so for yeah. everyone who's messaging me, asking if I know of a jump community, this is the one you should go to. Do the one with Oppo. <laughs> You're not going to regret that one. Trust I, me, we have some big names on board. Yeah. Really I believe it. I get so many people who message me. They're like, Shappy, do you know any good jumper groups? I'm like, I, I don't know. Mm. I, don't, I don't have time to do jumps. <laughs> yes, I, I'm the same. Exactly my answer, bro. Exactly my answer. It's no time. Very but cool. 2429 is not Imperium anymore, you know? You're not. And I thought that would be the... Yeah, we're not Imperium. We are down to approximately 80 players now in the main alliance. So it's good. Trust me. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy as. Very strong 80 players. That's all we need. Have great time. Have great KVKs. But it will also allow me some time that I can go ahead and focus on new projects. Man, new year will be a lot of players. New players. I oh, want to yeah. play with them. I want to meet the new players. You know, want to see what's going on. There's no, so many new whales, bro. Trust me. So many. We don't I know. know. <clears throat> well, with the old immigration situation, you actually ended mm -hmm. up with a lot of whales that balled out and then come KVK2, they were like dwarfed by people who migrated back. So hopefully exactly. people stick around now. Exactly. 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 So I got a couple other questions for you. What is keeping you playing Rise of Kingdoms? You've been doing it for 1600 days. And you're still doing it every single day. What 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 keeps mm. you coming around? Is it the game? Is it the people? Is it that you have to make YouTube videos for it? Like like what what's keeping you around? Well, great question. I just made a video yesterday about why I play in Rise of Kingdom and why I continue to play it. What's so special about Rise of Kingdom? Man, I don't know, brother, but uh, <clears throat> I know that first thing it has to be the community. 
I've played so many games, man. I played so many games in my life. I have never in my life came across a community like Rise of Kingdoms. I'm sorry, but <laughs> man, the quality of people is crazy. Don't get me wrong. There is this <clears throat> crazy ones that, you know, cra do the crazy things. But overall, we have pretty good people, pretty good, man. They keep you engaged. They really want you, you know, to be part of this. And the other big thing is for me is the updates. You know, the game is always updating. The game is always evolving, like I said in my video. You know, it's true. The game is always updating. Every month we have an update. There is always progress. There's always things. And one of the major things happened in the last year, which I mentioned on my stream, how the developers are listening to the community. This is a major thing that happened in the last year. We have seen so many updates coming with, uh, like, things fixed in the game that was asked by content creators, players mm -hmm. in the game, you know, recommendations. And this is huge to see the developers listen to the game. The only way forward is positive because these people that play the game know exactly what they want. They are the gamers. And when the developers take the chance to listen to them, we develop the game together, which makes the game more uh, uh, relatable to us. You know, I think it's huge. And that last year, a lot of things happen. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I was I literally we just jumped off your stream where you were showing mm -hmm. off the new updates like. I do mm -hmm. think Lilith has done a really good job of both listening to the community and building a really good, robust content creator community. Mm. We have a pretty kick ass man. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. But look, look hear me out. <laughs> Other games looking at our content creator seats for Rise of Kingdom, I mean, let me tell you, they are jealous. We have some great content creator, bunch of awesome content creators make content creators. Create contents for Rise of Kingdoms. Who's your favorite? Damn, my favorite. <laughs> well, man, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I always say that it's not about favorites, it's about you relate, you know, it's about relate and stuff. You know, Lambo is a big, uh, big part of my life. My, Lambo is my big brother. Like I've seen already on my streams. In the last year, I don't think I've went ahead and made a decision that involved my streaming, my sponsors, anything. Was that actually talking to Lambo first? Lambo is a big part of my life. He's a big brother for me. And he shows that day in and day out. So Lambo is a big, uh, big part of what I love to hang out with him. I, I also love Readline. Readline is a big, uh, great content creator. Mm -hmm. And there is no way we cannot mention uh, as well uh, Pluto. Pluto is a like star content creator. Pluto does great. And for me to get to to meet Pluto face to face in the LA, oh my God, that was bittersweet. I'm, I mean, it was crazy. I didn't even expect it. And as well, I got to meet Chisco, and I actually joined his stream the other day. I rated him, I think, the other day. Man, I met him in real life, and I'm going to be honest, I had a different understanding about Chisco from people, you know? And that's what I always keep saying. Never make your judgment on person based on other people's opinion. Totally. Always make your judgment on people based on your own opinion. And man, when I meet the guy, hands down, man, he is very humble, very respectful, he was very welcoming, said hi to my wife, very respectful. Uh, I asked for a photo and he was really, he was really, he was like, hey man, how are you? He was very nice. Not, not arrogant or anything. Like people say a lot of things about him, but I didn't see that. I saw very respectful man. Uh, yeah, very nice. He was really, yeah, very chill. So big respect to Francesco. You know, someone rocking quarter of a million subscribers. That's awesome. Yeah, now now we just yeah, need to man. get him on the series. Chisco, I'm 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 asking yeah. you again, man. Let's make it happen. Damn, that would be a good one. Oh, well, I asked him oh, when I was just a baby. Keep so trying. We'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> but we are coming up epic. towards the end. You mentioned you mentioned you had a message for the Rise of Kingdoms community about things you wanted to see change yes. or you there are things you wanted, you know, different. So so let's hear it. What yes. what's your message? Look, team, it's a really, uh, a really heartfelt one. What I see is lots of people make judgment based on kill points and power and deed. I just want to say something. We have a quote in real life says, don't judge the book by its cover. Before you make a judgment on someone based on their kill points and you're going to call them farmers, noob, whatever you're going to feel like saying to them, just remember that some people have different lives to you and they don't have the same privilege that you have. So they might not have the same time and the same 
skills that you have to play Rise of Kingdom. But they do love the social time and they appreciate this time as much as you appreciate it. They finish work and look forward to that time as much as you do. So make sure you're a little bit sensible when you come to judge someone based on their kill point, power, or deed. Because at the end of the day, we all play the game and we all have their own real, you know, we have our own real life challenges and we come to the game for more of a positive social time. So please, this is my biggest message. Don't judge the book by its cover. There's some awesome people, great individuals under small accounts. You'll be shocked to know who they are. I love it. Well, thank you all. If you haven't already, do be sure to go subscribe to Apocalypse Gaming. He's going to be linked below. There's going to be a little card up there. Boom, boom. So go check him thank out. You. And if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on this episode because it does help out the series a lot. YouTube does not like this for SEO. So if you drop a like, it helps me out and it helps other people see this as well. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all. You ready, Oppo? Let's do it. Shappy out. Shappy out. My wife just joining the stream here. Sorry, guys. I'm in an interview, honey. You can't be doing what you do. <laughs> Here you go, man. Can't get up. <laughs> this is how Apple pick up things. Thank you. Yeah, guys, this is my stick. My wife. <laughs> it's blooper oh my time. <laughs>